What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video and it's all about Titania Prime. Has anything changed since I last spoke about her? Mm, not much at all. She can now blink like an Arcwing, but that's about it. Is it worth to use her Razor Wing over Arcwing? Only if you have Razor Wing Blitz. Other than that, just don't. But don't do this to grab lures in an Eidolon hunt because you cannot interact with anything while in Razor Wing. Another thing is that there seems to be a bug when you go in and out of your Warframe while in Razor Wing, you lose sight of your crosshairs. Hopefully this gets fixed down the line. The Razor Flies are still the most stupidest thing about Titania. Dumb AI and they can body block you, so in most cases you end up dealing no damage to the enemies. Thanks Razor Flies for being useless. Another stupid thing is that she has a new augment. Listen to this, listen to this. She gains 40% damage reduction while airborne and loses the ability to vacuum. Why? This is the dumbest thing next to Grendel. Why use this mod when Aviator exists? It gives the same bonus and doesn't disable vacuum. Like. What? Also, Titania has a new passive. She generates health for you and allies when she uses an ability. Okay, DE's bad at wording things, so this basically means when you use an ability, you get a minuscule health regen buff for a few seconds. How hard is that to say? Other than that, Titania Prime has a larger health pool and more armor and energy. Pretty beefy. So has the build changed? Not so much. Is it anything fancy? Nope. But I do have two separate builds, all in one Titania. One for regular missions and the other for Eidolon hunts. That's if you want to try something different in the hunts. Why do Eidolons? Because they're actually fun, gear intensive and actually require mechanics and team compositions, unlike some Limbo and Exodia Contagion events. The builds require 8 Forma in total, 4 for your Titania and 4 for the Dex Pixia, 3 regular and 1 Aura on the Titania build. If 8 Forma is too much, then don't bother looking into build videos. Also, there's no point putting anything special into the Duwada till they actually make Arc Melees useful because at the current state they're quite garbage. I have made the Duwada work in the past as a healing tool in my other Titania videos. I also go over her abilities in detail so if you want to see how those work do check those videos out. Links in the cards and description. And for those who skip this part I will be seeing you in the comments section asking about it. Well it's your fault for not paying attention. So the first build the regular build for your day-to-day -day missions. I'm pretty sure you've seen this sort of setup on Titania before. Aerodynamic for the 24% damage reduction while airborne. Combine that with Aviator. You see? Aviator? That grants 40% damage reduction while airborne. So you're decently tanky. And use Adaptation to gain resistance towards certain status effects. And combine that with her Thorns buff from her second ability, she can be quite hard to kill. I get 155% strength and 1062 health just with the two Umbral mods combined, rank 4 fleeting and streamlined for the max efficiency and to counteract the negative duration, I will use primed continuity, prime flow for the juicy energy pool, and finally the augment. This grants Titania flight speed and fire rate when you cast an ability while in Razor Wing. The duration stacks up on itself the more you cast, and caps at 4 stacks, and 105% duration I get 33 seconds of Razor Wing Blitz buff at max stacks. The augment scales of power strength, so the more you have, the faster everything gets. I avoid this as it can be very hard to control, and since I'm using the augment, I avoid using arcane velocity, as you will burn through your magazine in an instant. I have arcane precision for the additive damage, and energize for the energy regen. Now moving on to her dex pixia. It's still the go-to pistol mods, damage, multi-shot crit mods, and the elements making viral. And finally, anemic agility for the additional fire rate. This is here if you don't have the Razor Wing Blitz buff active. You can always run Velocity in the Arcane slots instead of Energize and switch it up to Viral and Heat for the Dexpixias. And now for the interesting setup and that's the Eidolon Huntress Titania. Make sure you have a competent team who help you out. That's step one to make this build work. I did run a different build in the footage here. The combo and setup was too much of a hassle, so I decided to swap it out to something more usable, simple, and easier to use. So, corrosive projection in the aura. Since the percentage is reduced, it's beneficial for everyone in the squad to run this aura. 
Aviator in the Exilus and try to smack as much power strength as possible. If you had an Umbral Forma, you can make this even beefier and go even further beyond. Of course, the efficiency because we're running Blind Rage and I'm using Arcane Velocity and a Rank 4 Precision. Yes, since we're in an efficient hunting squad, the Eidolons will be dropping like flies. And since Arcane buffs have a duration and cooldown, having a max rank 1 will actually mess you up. You will lose the bonus while waiting for the cooldown to end, so this is a safer option. And the Dex Pixia is similar, but I'm running Radiation instead of Viral, since the Synovias take 75% more damage from Radiation. And the final mod is Hollow Point for the added crit damage. You can also run Anemic Agility, but in high tier runs, a Wisp will be available in the squad. And here we go guys, these are the Titania Prime builds. A tip for Titania, always cast your 4th ability mid-air. It speeds up the animation. Anyways, that has been it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.